Welcome back to Beyond Tactical. Today we're gonna to go over our favorite three pistol drills to do at the range. If you're tired of going to the range and just wasting a bunch of ammo and not getting any better, these are some things we started doing to make better use of our ammo. Uh, take everything we say with a grain of salt, we're not professionals, these are just things that helped us. If you're a new shooter getting into it, it we have some value, we, could, we have some knowledge that may be valuable to you, so. So the first thing is you wanna have a good setup. Uh, right now we have some silhouette targets. I like paper for this because we're, we're gonna be shooting from five to 10 yards. It's a good range to start from. Um, so to set up, you're gonna need a holster, a firearm, and then one loaded mag, fully loaded mag, and then one empty mag. That's all you need. You can have extras if you want, but all we need for this is one full mag and one empty mag to do these three drills. Okay, so the first drill we're gonna be doing is a draw from the holster and we're gonna shoot one round on the center of the target, A zone of the target. Um, so all, you're gonna basically take your full mag, put it in the gun, rack, and you want the full mag in the gun for this drill because you wanna feel the real weight of your firearm. You're rarely ever gonna have a mag with just one bullet in it when you're drawing. So you want the full weight of the magazine. You're gonna stand here, and this is for a new shooter, so let's assume you don't have a shot clock or anything like that. Uh, you can either have a buddy say go, which is recommended, because then like, you're not expecting it right away, so it's more realistic. But if you're alone, it's totally fine. You can just stand here, and then all of a sudden, you'll just say go in your head. You'll go, draw the firearm, and shoot. So there's a few things with the draw that I wanna talk about. First thing is, I like to have my hands by the side. You can practice from different areas so that you get better at drawing from different places. But I start with just my hands here. You're gonna bring your hand up. You're gonna find the tang and push down on the firearm. And as you hit the ALS, or if you don't have ALS, doesn't matter. You're gonna pull up along the center line of the body. You're gonna marry your hands and you're gonna drive straight out. So this drill is super useful for not only getting your draw stroke dialed and getting your grip dialed quick, but finding the dot, if you run a red dot, it's really important that you can find that dot as soon as you bring it up to your eyesight. So I'll demonstrate one, and I'll just go half speed, just really do it by the numbers. So, Tanner, do you want to give me a go? Shooter ready. Boop. Go down, positive retention, marry up hands, find dot, release. And then you can do the range theatrics, whatever, keep on target, and then scan the target or whatever and then you're gonna practice reholstering. That's also important. Uh, a little tip for reholstering, if you have a light or a safari land, these holsters work really well if you just swing the light into the back and then go in from there. We'll do some uh, run-throughs of this and then we'll talk about the next one. Do a few more. So the second drill that's super useful, and this one is for uh, just practicing your reloads for as cheap as possible. Uh, it comes back to, we had a full mag in the gun, right? You're gonna take the full mag and swap it with the empty one. And now you have one in the chamber still from your last drill. So you're gonna take the empty mag, put it in the firearm, and now you should have one in the firearm and an empty mag and then a full mag here. The reason it's better to have a full mag and an empty mag like I said earlier, is because if you have just two mags with one in each for this drill, you're gonna practice drawing from your mag caddy and it's gonna be a light, lightweight mag, which is not realistic because realistically you're gonna be pulling a full mag out. So that's why you want a full mag and an empty mag. So that's just a little side note, but on this one, you're just gonna focus on same thing as earlier, except no draw. So you're gonna have it on target, you're gonna shoot one and then I'll just demonstrate for this, but you're gonna shoot one, you're gonna notice, oh, slide's locked back, and then you're gonna bring your gun to the workspace while you're finding and indexing your mag. You're gonna shift your grip if you need to, for somebody like with small hands like me, shift your grip to be able to get to the mag release. You're gonna dump the mag while you are pulling out here, Tanner, get over here. You're gonna put your tip of your finger on the tip with these extended mags, it's harder, but 
on a regular mag, you're gonna have your tip of your finger on the tip of the bullet. And now if you come up here, as I'm bringing that up, I'm taking a split second to look at my firearm and make sure it goes in right. And, and then as soon as it goes in, I'm gonna smack it and then I'm gonna go back to the target and you can either hit the slide release as you marry back up or you can go over the top. Um, there's pros and cons to both, but for the case of this, I'll just hit the slide release. So I'll just do that one more time a little smoother. So I'm gonna go look down for one second, put mag in, hit slide release as I marry my hands back up and then pull another one. And so that's the whole drill. You're firing two bullets and then after that to reset it, you're gonna take out your full mag, put it back in the mag, caddy, you're gonna pick up your empty mag, put it back in the firearm, and then reholster. So I'll do it full, I'll do it like half speed, but all the way through. So you're gonna have your gun. You're gonna shoot, release mag, put it back in the gun, shoot again. And I fumbled a little bit on that because I'm trying to talk while I'm doing this, but we'll do another run through. Empty mag back in the gun. And then you can also do draws and shoot one. I just think it's more realistic to have it on target. Shoot one, release, look at the mag, back on target. And so that's a one reload one. It only uses two bullets and you're gonna get a ton of practice finding the dot, indexing your mags, doing a proper reload. And then we'll move on to the next drill. All right, so this third drill, uh, this one is more focused on recoil management. The first two drills, we didn't do any multiple shots at a time. So um, this drill is completely focused on staying on target and keeping your dot in the window and uh, just being able to deliver multiple shots on target. So for this drill, you can either draw and do this, but we kind of already practiced draws earlier. So we will just have the full mag in the gun. We're gonna aim at the target. And then whenever you do your mental timer, you're gonna go and a bill drill is six rounds and you want more than six in the chamber, or sorry, in the magazine. So the important parts of this drill is that it helps you practice your mental tempo of six shots and not firing any more or less. So not only are you just making sure that you only fire six, but you're making sure that your dot stays on target and you're able to manage that recoil. And this is where you'll notice if your grip breaks down. This drill is the best way to see if your grip has flaws and what you need to work on as far as grip and making sure that your stance and you're able to stay balanced. So I'll, I'll demonstrate this um, and we'll do it just from here. So I'll go six shots on target. I'm gonna get up, dot on target. I'm gonna tell myself when to go and then I'll shoot six shots. So. And then you're gonna scan stay on target and then you can reholster or whatever but the biggest thing with this drill is that you don't want to speed it up too much you want to make sure that you're taking your time at the beginning and getting them all on target and as you get better you can go faster and faster um, we're about at six yards right now i think that's a good place to start uh, just because you want to focus on the little things rather than being 20 yards away and missing all your shots which there's no point in doing that anyways so uh, and then the last thing about the bill drill I wanna talk about is just the reason it's important to have more than six rounds in your magazine when you do this is uh, if you only have six rounds in your magazine, it's gonna automatically stop you when you're out of ammo, which doesn't really help your mental tempo. So you wanna, you wanna be able to like control your fingers so you can release the exact amount of shots you want at a high speed. And uh, one way that I learned how to do this from somebody that taught me was before you actually do the drill, just in your head with your finger, just go one, two, three, four, five, six, and do it at the tempo you wanna actually pull the trigger at. So you're gonna sit there and just one, two, three, four, five, six, and then do it so you can do it without counting. So it'll just be, and then you'll just translate to that gun. And I think I still have six in here, so we'll just do it as fast as I can, and I'll show you that that, temp, that practice with your finger beforehand helps. So I'll go, am I out? No, I'm not, sorry. So that's faster than I can mentally count, but because my finger's now used to pulling the trigger six times, I only pulled six shots, even though I still have bullets in the magazine.
Okay, so like we said earlier, we are not professionals. We don't claim to be. We just love to shoot, and I got tired of just wasting a ton of ammo and not getting any better. So I was professionally taught how to do this, and these are the, this is exactly how they taught me to do it. Um, these drills are my favorite, and I think they're the most useful for the amount of ammo they use. Uh, something, as you get more into shooting, I think it's important that you get a shot timer because when you're mentally telling yourself when you're gonna go, you're already ready. Whereas when you have uh, external stimuli that you have to react to, it's gonna make things much more realistic. So investing in one of these is a good decision, but you don't have to do it right away. Get used to the techniques and everything first, and then you can invest in one of these to get better and better. Um, that's gonna close out this video. I hope you guys learned something. And let me know if I'm wrong in the comments. I'm, I'm somewhat new to shooting, so myself, so. If I can help, that's great. But if not, uh, just let me know what I'm doing wrong and I, I'd love to learn from you guys. So uh, that'll be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, vlogs, uh, gun reviews, just having fun at the range, then consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And uh, we also have an Instagram, Beyond Tactical. So thank you guys for watching and uh, have a good rest of your day.